check on Fox. Liam and Charlie, push 270.5 and 145.00 and check in. Ground, taxi, 
Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude.
Ground Liberty 1-2, be advised, 1-1 one, one had to go to the spare, so I'm going to be a single ship for the time being. Looking for taxi from Thunder with Romeo to 03 right for 1 by A-10. Liberty 1-2, Nellis Ground copies all, taxi via Charlie Golf Alpha, hold short 03 right. Clear to taxi, Charlie Golf Alpha, hold short 03 right, Liberty 1-2. Contact Tower, Liberty 1-2. Tower, Liberty 1-2, holding 0-3 right at Alpha, ready for departure. Liberty 1-2, 
Dallas Tower, wind 190 at 4, clear for takeoff 03 right. Clear for takeoff 03 right, Liberty 1 2. Liberty 1 2 with you at 5000, heading towards Moapa. Liberty 1 2, Dallas departure, radar contact. Maintain 5000, resume our navigation. Maintain 5000, resuming own navigation. Liberty 1 2.
valley off to our right is known as the Mopa Valley. As you can see, it is one of the rare green areas around here. It's really pretty down there, and the roads into it and out of it are pretty damn nice drive if you're in the corner. You could say that. I have a Nissan GTR. Ah, very nice. Well, if you decide to head down through there and have some fun, just be careful near the small towns because the cops hammer all the people coming up from Vegas on their weekend drive. Noted. Thanks for the heads up. Coming off the right for Echo Bay. Roger. So what's going to be the target for the flyby? What do you mean? Like, what's going to be the center point for our time over target? I guess that should have gone without saying. Perhaps. We're going to have our ground observer up on top of the Empire State Building there, calling out our timing for us. Nice. Wow, you can really tell how much the lake level has dropped looking at the shoreline and stuff that used to be lakefront. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how much it's dropped. So there's a B-29 down there in Lake Mead that crashed way back. Since the lake level has come down so much, I guess it's possible to dive on it now. I need to look into seeing if I can get in there and check it out. Really? That's freaking cool! Isn't it kind of weird for a B-29 to be in Lake Mead, though? Well, they were doing some secret squirrel work back then and would climb up real high and then dive down towards the lake, level out, and do it all over again. I guess the pilots didn't pull out in time and they went in. Wow, what were they working on? Did they get out okay? Yeah, they all got out. They hit shallow, so it tore off some of the engines and skipped back up in the air and then came back down. Um, they were working on a device called a Sun Tracker, which was an early IR tracking device and eventually led into AIM-9 stuff. Damn, dude. Are he like a part-time historian or something? <laughs> no. They 
had a uh, hour long documentary on the whole B29 thing on History Channel or something a while back. It was the only thing on during the school night, so I ended up watching it. <laughs> okay, copy. That makes sense. Cool story, though.
one on left turn. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna need a 
slow down a little bit so I start getting into formation. Roger. Liberty's in from the south and looking good. Copy and everything. Be ready if we need to slow it down or push it up if they're playing fast or slow.
Right hand orbit for Liberty 1-2.
Liberty 1-2 is inbound for 21 left and switching your tower. See ya. Nellis Tower, Liberty 1-2, 10 miles north of the field for the straight in. Liberty 1-2, Nellis Tower, copy. Report 5 mile final, 2-1 left. Report 5 mile final for Liberty 1-2. Liberty 1-1, one, Dallas one, Tower, contact ground when able. Liberty 1-1, one, one, switching to ground. Speed break, speed break. Liberty 1-2 is 5 mile final, gear down, full stop for 21 left. Liberty 1-2, Nellis Tower, wind 190 at 4, clear to land, 2-1 left. Clear to land, 21 left, Liberty 1-2.
Altitude, altitude.